When I do this exhibition, it will have been 15 years since uh, my last show. And um, I did not realize how much I had missed painting until I started painting again. Or whatever you have inside you, it has to come out. All of the pain, all of the happiness, all of those experiences that I've ever had uh, comes out of the work. When people look at me and they say, Franklin, you really don't look like your paintings. I mean, they expect this huge person to walk in the room. I don't know what they expect. And then I walk in and they say, oh, your paintings seem so violent, but you're not. Uh, I guess some of that stuff is in, we all have strong feelings, and I guess I choose to let these feelings come out here. Um, I'm not going to run around shouting and yelling, that's just not me, but I can yell and rant and rave in these works. And I think, so if you see some passion or some emotion or some very strong feelings about anything, you should see it in the work. Uh, the excess, the confrontations, the energy that's generated, uh, some of the harshness, some of the subtleties, it's all there. We all run the gamut of emotion. And so you can be like a great singer. You uh, pull on all these inner resources and uh, you put as much feeling into what you do as possible, and so, uh, yes, there's an awful lot of feeling, an awful lot of emotion that uh, if you didn't let it out, you just explode, and so, here it is. <laughs> It has been a five-year process putting these works together, and starting with um, photographing the water lilies and having a complete set of documentation of all of these flowers from all of the area in Washington, D.C., and then decided, now that I've got all this information, what am I going to do with them? How am I going to interpret these flowers? One painting took 15 gallons of gel. You know, that's, you know, that's a lot of gel. Uh, that's not paint. That's just what you mix with the paint. And, you know, $200 a five-gallon drum, that's, that's $600 worth of gel alone. So uh, it's expensive doing this. But you take each painting at a time. You, uh, I haven't even begun to calculate how much I've spent producing these. And I don't really want to. Janis Joplin, I love Joplin, once said, they were saying, why don't you hold back because you're ruining your voice? And she said, you know, why should I hold back now 
uh, and be mediocre, only to be mediocre 10 years from now. I will give it all that I've got now, and that's exactly the way I feel. There's no reason to hold back.